when you first, you know, when you start to learn your instrument, you know, you have to learn positions and scales and chords that just are physical things to, to learn on the instrument. And it's, of course, real important just to get into the chops area, but it's really important to stop doing that as soon as possible, to stop running scales, to stop running arpeggios mindlessly, and uh, because that hurts you musically. You know, I mean, if you sit down and play a C major scale real fast over and over again until it's like incredibly fast and you spend, you know, maybe, you know, months, to, so then you can go, well, that's great, but that's just a little tiny part of what you want to play when you go up to blow, you know. And uh, so I think it's real important to start right from the beginning playing music, you know, playing songs, playing improvisations, and that's how I practice now. I, I I'll take a, a song like a blues. What we just played was a 12-bar blues. And, and, and I'll just practice running ideas through that kind of form at all kinds of tempos. And I'll also play like, you know, standard tunes. Because that's what I really love. I always really like jazz, and that's, that's what got me. I'll stop. I'll, I'll, I'll say, okay, here's this chord change, and I want to get this kind of thing, you know, this arpeggio or whatever together. And I'll stop and practice that. But I practice it for a reason, because I have a musical application for it. Um, and then just learning songs uh, on the guitar, you know, sort of with just learning the melodies and learning the chords. Um, but everything with a musical reason, you know. Uh, and of course you have to learn positions and scales, but don't spend all your time just running the scales because that's not going to give you anything other than the scale. And you don't want to play that. I mean, it's real boring to just play a scale, right? I practice licks. I used to practice licks. Not so much anymore. Um, I used to like take licks off of records from other people that I liked. I guess I did that. I didn't do that a whole lot. More what I did was I sort of had my own little licks that were sort of bastardizations of other people's licks that I would just try and get together. And I, then I would immediately start playing a tune. Say, well, oh, here comes this part of the blues. I can get that lick in, you know? And then I would get to the, to the stage where you know, after you learn a lick or something, then how do you use it? And, and there's this, always this thing of like, well, you got this hot lick, and you're playing and you're kind of improvising, and then in the back of mind you're saying, how can I get that lick in there? Shit, okay, maybe I'll try it now. And then, and then you do it, and it either works or it doesn't. So the thing is to try to get the point where that lick or that musical phrase is, ev flows out of you just like you were singing, so it's no longer really uh, a lick. You hear it, and it's part of a musical development, and it makes sense. And, and the reason you play it is because it seemed like the right thing to play next, rather than, oh, oh here, oh, how am I going to get it in there? You play, oh, you know, and then you throw it in. That's sort of, but we all go through those phases. But I guess what I practice is music. Also, what I practice is, is uh, trying to get whatever music I need together for whatever band I'm playing in. And that takes a lot of time. Like, I know I have a gig, I have to learn this tune. 